And you're sure this magic is safe? Well, it hasn't undergone all of the proper testing yet, but- We don't have time. We have to find the one before it's too late. I must warn you, interdimensional travel is very dangerous, and without proper testing, we have no idea of the risks. I'm willing to take those risks. You look gorgeous, Aurora. Thanks, David. For you. It's beautiful, David. Thank you. Hey, Aurora! Oh, Delilah, Ethan, hi! How are you feeling? Um, good. Why? <laughs> no reason! Delilah, you really can't keep a secret, can you? Okay, you two are acting weird. Have you not heard? Delilah! Oh, David is planning to propose! What?! Oh, I thought you knew. Why am I so upset by this? I mean, isn't this what I wanted? But something is off. May I have your attention, please? I have something important to say, Aurora. I wanted to tell you this for a while now, but I haven't found the right opportunity to do so. So, will you marry me? I... I... I'm sorry. <gasps> Are you sure that's the girl we've been looking for? Positive. What is wrong with me? Why didn't I say yes? David is a really nice guy and I ruined everything. <gasps> Aurora? Ethan, what are you doing here? I wanted to check on you. Is everything all right? Yes, it's fine! Are you sure? Ethan, have you ever just wished that things were, I don't know, different? Yeah, sometimes. But there are a lot of things I wouldn't want to change. Oh yeah? Like what? You. You're coming with us! Who are you? We don't have time to explain, but you're the key. What? What is that supposed to mean? Ethan! Your Majesty, please, you have to stop this snowstorm. They live in an ice realm, what do they expect? Oh, well, th that isn't the issue. The village is in danger. What do they want me to do about it? Well, well, well you're the one with the ice powers. Surely you can undo this all. That is not how this works. But... But the villagers... Get out of my sight. I hope you're right this time. Your lack of faith in me is very reassuring. Where am I? I'm not explaining again. It's your turn. Oh, come on. It's so hard being the head guard, huh? Someone's jealous. Ahem. Right, welcome to the Ice Realm, one of the vast universes within the multiverse. And the coldest. Yeah, I gathered that. Now, how do I get back to my, uh, what do you call it? Realm? We need your help first. And why would I help you? You just kidnapped me from my home. Please, our realm is going to be destroyed and soon. The eternal winter will take over every other realm, including yours. You're our last hope. Why exactly? I think it would be easier if I just showed you. But you're going to need this. Hello, your majesty. We have come to propose a solution for, um, this snowstorm catastrophe. Well, you certainly aren't the first. We might not be, but we have a rather unique solution. I'm sure you do. <gasps> no way. How is that even possible? You're just like me. Potion. It worked. It really worked. Your ice magic is no more. It is now under my control. Your control? That wasn't the plan. Oh, the plan is ever to restore peace in this lame realm. If this eternal winter is going to spread to every realm, guess who's going to have power over it? Nobody will have any choice but to bow down to me. Wh why isn't this working? I don't even have ice powers anymore. I lost them not long after I set off an eternal winter. Where did the ice powers go then? Like I'm supposed to know. Run! Ugh, teleportation is rough. Oh, marvelous. 
Well, at least I have an outfit change in this, uh... Oh my gosh, this is my realm! We can't be here right now. Um, why not? Um, I kinda sorta turned down a proposal earlier, and... Aurora? Hide! I've been so worried. What happened? Um, it's a long story. I'm glad you're back. Me too! Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go find my parents! David has been frantically looking for you too. <laughs> right, right. We don't have a lot of time. Derek is eventually going to find us, and we need a plan. There has to be a reason that this scepter brought us here. Last time we used it, it led us directly to you, Aurora. So there has to be a reason we've been brought here again. Aurora! There you are. Oh no. Just pretend to be me. What did you do to your hair? And try not to get into too much trouble. Aurora, are you listening to me? Huh? Looks like the eternal winter is starting to reach this realm. So do you know any scientists in this realm that can help us? No, magic doesn't exist here. Well, it usually doesn't. You're going to need to learn how to control your magic, especially if you're going to fight Derek off. The first thing you need to know is that your powers are emotionally activated, so you have to be careful not to activate your powers out of fear or anger. Is that what happened with Frost? Yes. She never wanted to be a ruler. She just wanted a normal life. In a fit of rage, she tried to destroy her palace, but instead, she set off a huge snowstorm. Derek and I tried to find something to stop her, but when we opened portals to numerous dimensions, her magic must have transferred to you. Oh. So, it's important that you know how to control your magic. Close your eyes and focus. Do you feel the magic within? Yes. You're not listening! Nobody will have any choice but it's to bow I can do this. <gasps> Aurora, are you okay? I... I don't know. What happened? I just saw all of these, like, memories, but they weren't mine. I don't even know how to explain it. We need to find Winter Aurora. We might have to teleport to another realm to find someone who can explain all this. I think I know where to find her. We have to find some kind of scientist in another realm who can help us create some potions in order to stop Derek. I'm afraid you're too late. Finally! After all my failed attempts, there is nothing that can stop me now. Now to get rid of some obstacles. <gasps> Ethan! Whoops. Well, whatever. No, unfreeze him, please. Why would I? Who's next? Hmm. How would a backstabbing traitor? Go. Find help. No! Hand over that scepter. Never. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I can never have a moment of peace, can I? Hey! You can't just- Where is the girl? <sighs> she just left. Ugh, give me one of these potions. <sighs> Jeez, maybe I picked the wrong occupation. This is the end of the line, Aurora. You have no plan. Nothing! It's not the end of the line. Not yet. I have one bargain left. I will hand over this scepter, and you can freeze me, if you let Veronica go. I suppose I'd accept that. Oh no, I'm so clumsy. Quickly. As promised. Veronica, you have to stop him. No, I can't do this. You have to trust me. Huh, <laughs> what a foolish girl. Sacrificing herself for her friend? I don't know. It seems like you're the foolish one. I'll be taking that. I knew you could do it. So, where do you think I should send him? I mean, is there like a fire realm? Ethan! Aurora, I'm so glad you're okay. Aurora! Oh my gosh, there's two of you.
Mom, this is my twin. She's from another dimension. Oh, it's a long story. All of you should come inside. It's cold outside. After that day, Aurora's mother adopted Winter Aurora into their family. Aurora made amends with her then-boyfriend David, and they mutually decided to split up. And as for me, I returned to the ice room to fix the damage that had been caused, and I've been ruling ever since, and we all lived happily ever after. Who dragged the cat in? Ugh, fire elements. Wow, a genius too. Aurora and her friends better watch their backs, because next time, things will be different.